By combining high voltage with overnight fog, can some desert water shortages become a thing of the past? To help me answer that, I'm in the middle of the Ciencia Desert. Where exactly is the Ciencia Desert? My garage. I've spent the past two months designing a one-of-a-kind fog condenser, solar rechargeable, and converts fog into water within seconds. The addition of a 12-volt solar panel would allow for automatic recharging during the day, and boosting the power would allow for a much larger system. I'm headed to Peru in two weeks. Wow, so I only have two weeks to build this. <laughs> This is the central stake. It'll hold all the electronics needed for the condenser to operate. Whoopsies. Afterwards, some additional UV curing strengthened and fixated the structure. Then the tedious part, winding the form carefully with 500 feet of wire and assembling the actual transformer. This is the heart of the entire condenser. Yes. Now that is what I've been going for. With the transformer knocked out, I moved on to building the voltage multiplier. This component is responsible for creating the wildly high DC voltages this project needs. Now just to connect everything up and fill it with resin. Okay, everything's connected up. Ah. Beautiful. It was at this moment I realized I would not be making my two week deadline for Peru. If I can't go to a desert, why not bring a desert to me? Kicking off the assembly, the central stake and end caps connect to form a 270 degree hinge, then each pair of square tubes is inserted into a support stake and bolted into place. And with that, I officially have a desert fog condenser in my garage. <laughs> totally, totally normal person things. Here's the hoping for water with the flip of a switch. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> oh yeah, that fog is drawn right in. Right in. Pure water from fog, no wind required. This is just annihilating the fog. It's just getting sucked right in, converted directly into water. Oh my God. Check out this faucet. That is liquid water. So the original fog condenser consumed 40 watts of power and produced nine milliliters of water per minute, giving it a 14 milliliter per watt hour efficiency. This improved condenser consumes 120 watts of energy and produces 42 milliliters of water per minute giving it an efficiency of 21 milliliters per watt hour. 